live from Papa Sun. Anyway, I don't know. I'm trying to figure out some intro <laughs> stuff. Um, hey guys, welcome to the Gay's Vlog. Thanks for being here. Uh, I hate to come at you again with a, a second day of bah, 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 just deflating news. Um, but it does bring up some topic conversation and uh, kind of just want to go talk about that today. Um, anyway, I, uh, I got the news yesterday morning that uh, my father... Um, who is just about to turn 70 here in a few months, uh, suffered a mild heart attack on Saturday. And he didn't know that he was having a heart attack and stayed home and everything felt fine on Sunday and almost most of Monday. But then the pain that he was experiencing came back and was kind of there all night again. And so finally on yesterday morning, he went and checked himself into the hospital saying, I'm having some issues. Boom, boom, boom. So yeah, so basically he kind of had two heart attacks and um, he's okay, uh, but he's still in the hospital and I'm waiting to hear results because they're running tests to find out what's going on. Um, it's a scary moment, uh, because, and it, and it brings up tons of just, I don't know, kind of feelings. My wife asked me last night, she says, how are you feeling with all this? How are you doing? And I just, I didn't have an answer because I don't know. And I still don't know. I don't no, I know one thing, and that is that 18 years ago, I would be drinking, and that's how I would feel. I, you know, my, I would be trying to look for some emotions in a, in, in, you know, at the bottom of a, of a glass or a bottle or a can or whatever I was drinking from. But I don't do that anymore, and so I try to go inside and really get in touch with how this stuff makes me feel. And there's a little bit of anger, um, and not so much at the fact that, um, that this has happened, but more at the fact that my dad's response to all this is kind of more... It seemed to him or to me when I was listening to him tell me about it that he's hoping there's probably just going to be, a, you know, that they don't have to do a surgery, that they'll just open him up or not, not have to open him up. And then, you know, he can take a pill and that will clear up whatever's kind of causing his heart to, to do what it's doing. And I don't know that yet. So that's frustrating, too, because I don't know what's I don't really know what's happening other than there's a problem with his heart. Um, and, um, and I think the, the, the pill thing made me angry because when I started talking to him about it, it was kind of like his reaction was, I hope this, that I can just take the pill and just keep on going about life as I normally would instead of I probably should make some changes so that I can be a little healthier to help my heart be healthier to stick around longer. Yes, the medication will help, but it's, a, it's such a temporary fix, you know? If the medication takes away whatever it was that was there, well, what's keeping that from coming back? Nothing. The medication? I, no, because that was to clear it. Like, we need something, we need a preventative. And through, it's like through triathlon, it's like, oh, I need to prevent injury. I can't just like wait for the injury to happen and then treat it. It's like, I need to put some measures in place to prevent that from happening. And I can't guarantee that it's not gonna happen. I, I'm still injured, here I am, still not working out. But I've already started acting on like, okay, I was injured, let's get this better, and let's start making corrections to fix the injury. So, anyway, we kind of went around and around, and I don't, I guess I, I can't expect him to make changes. He's living his life the way he wants to, but it made me really just 
look at things and say there's kind of a point where you have two options and you can keep doing what you're doing or you can try to make some changes. And, uh, you know, I've, I've beat my head over uh, against the wall so many times that I need to just kind of listen to what's happening and make the, make the corrections. Um, and I hope that he is able to do that. Um, so the anger I'm kind of getting over, it was just that kind of conversation and we, we hash it out and things are, it's not like we're, we don't like each other or anything. It's just, there was that kind of, I, I, I hit this stubborn personality and I, you know, I had to realize that this is, this is his life and his choices and, um, you know, it's just, I, I want him to, to listen to what I'm saying because I think it's helpful, but he may or may not. And that's, that's okay too. Um, but that's what I have. Those are just, those make newer. It's like, okay, well, so what's next for, for my dad? And, and, um, I'm waiting to hear from him kind of what's next, but, um, Anyway, so that's kind of what's happening, guys. And I, um, I know today that I'm not exercising, but I know that I just need to get out and, and, and be mindful of this situation and let some more kind of just thoughts and emotions come, come to the surface. And the best way for me to do that is to let that happen, to not avoid them, to set aside some space in my day today uh, to let that take, take, take its course and, um, and then process it and go forward. <coughs> um, and I'm most likely just going to do that with a nice kind of up tempo walk zone one walk today. Um, anywhere 45 minutes to an hour where I can, wherever I can fit that in at some point outside too. I don't want to be inside. I don't want to be on a treadmill. I don't want to be hearing the ambient noises of a facility. I want to be outside and hearing that. Um, and that's how I'm going to kind of uh, go forward with this today, guys. And, you know, hey, comment down below. Let me know how you kind of grapple some of your emotional stresses that take place. You know, like what are your positive, what are your positive coping skills when you're kind of hit with news of somebody, somebody close to you is just not doing so well. Um, I want to encourage them to everything's going to be fine and to just maybe make a few subtle changes and let them know that they're important to me. So that's what I'm doing. Again, if you guys would comment down below, let me know kind of how you handle handle these, these types of stresses in your life? What positive coping skills do you have in place uh, to deal with these things that always come up at some point or another? We're all dealing with these kind of emotions. Uh, thanks for being here. Thanks for your support. If you haven't already, subscribe below. Follow along on the journey. <laughs> As you see, we're, we're, uh, we're peaks and valleys. It's, uh, life is an interesting, it's an interesting journey. Hope yours is going great. I'll see you. Peace.